but none of them believe me. There'll be an extra it. fee for that. Okay, okay. Let's check some of the other quests I'm still missing. Depending on how long they are, I may be able to complete everything today. I wouldn't count on it. But maybe. Okay, let's check this quest. Raimondo. Uh -huh. I sent someone to give your report to the institute. In any case, I shall leave the upcoming work to you, Miss Fusilia. Of course, Mr. Raimondo, but about the help you mentioned. Don't worry, when the right time comes, our honorary senior researcher will appear by your side. What trouble are you all planning to cause me now? Appear by your side. It's great to see you so soon, honorary senior researcher and the assistant to the honorary senior researcher. Oh, allow me to introduce. So this quest wouldn't be here if I didn't complete the other. This is the special investigator in charge of the stolen Archeon Kinetic Core case. Miss Vazilia. Before I ask for your help again, please allow me to briefly explain the case of the Archeon Kinetic Core's theft. And some other key information. Raimondo briefly explains why the Fontaine Research Institute initially identified Necker as the prime suspect. We were there. An intense surge of Archeon energy would have filled the central laboratory after the explosion, so only professionals could have engaged in work there for any length of time. And the timing of the experimental fuel generators activa activation and attack was too much of a coincidence. According to Raimondo, the suspect must be a senior researcher linked to the research, and subsequent examinations and reenactments of the events have borne this theory out. The only people capable of this in Fontaine Research Institute are Raimondo, Necker and Edwin, the last of whom passed away during the explosion. Raimondo mentions that he too is under internal review, and it sounds like a huge pain. However, locating the core as soon as possible still remains your main objective. The unstable prototype may go out of control at any moment and release a surge of Archeon that would affect anything around it. Couldn't he just say that in dialogue lines? Hey, doesn't that mean it might explode again in a moment? A necker... I just hope it doesn't blow us all high sky high. You know, it seems we don't have a choice. Looks like Necker really does deserve a good beating. He won't get off that easily if I have anything to say about it. My responsibilities as an honorary senior researcher are back to bite me again. I'm counting on the two of you. I must return to the Institute. Mr. Shoso won't be able to deal with so many journalists for long on, on his own. Even if it's just for the sake of his health, I ask that you get to the bottom of this matter as much as possible. I wish him good health. I'll buy you as much time as possible. Wish him health. I thank you on his behalf then. Normando lives in a hurry. Honorary senior researcher, let's act quickly. The sooner we find the culprit, the sooner we can clear Miss Edwin's name. Mr. Edwin? You sound like you have a very good impression of him. Edwin has helped me in many ways. He was a good person. Necker, on the other hand, is a despicable lowlife who used Mr. Edwin's research to harm the Institute for his own selfish interests. That's unforgivable. It is my belief that he framed Mr. Edwin for the initial explosion in the Institute too. After all, he is the only one who could have benefit from how things have played out up to now. 
And he has the Archeal Kinetic Core. If Necker is really alive, then I will definitely catch him. And then I'll make him pay for all he's done. But I'm sure you're not here to discuss this, right, honor your researcher? It's almost time, let's head down to Lumidos Harbor. I'll brief you on the specifics once we get there. What are we doing here? We look like eavesdroppers. Well, we are he here to be eavesdroppers, but I think we have to wait a little longer. Let's get behind those shrubs for now. You wait for some time behind the shrubbery. Uh, look over there. Those are the people we're waiting for. According to my investigation, they are reselling a batch of goods linked to the Fountain Research Institute. And this may be connected to Necker. Let's get closer. Uh, oh, boss, there's someone over there. I thought we were supposed to eavesdrop. We're, we've been spotted. Mr. Shosivar, it seems you don't know the rules. I suppose that's as far as my warnings go. Farewell. You pretentious. Let's go. Take those loops out. We're far away. Gather! My way now. This is... What? This is something about being investigator? Fine, you're good. It's my loss. Uh, it doesn't matter who hired you to silence me, just do as you please. Uh, no one's trying to silence you, actually, we're hoping you talk. We're special investigators from Fontaine Research Institute, Mr. Schosevert. We suspect that you're involved in the disappearance of our Archeon Kinect core. Please cooperate with our investigation. So the Institute seeks assistance in their investigation by hiding and eavesdropping. Why am I not surprised? And that's just a necessary investiga investigative technique. Allow me to explain. Fusilier gives Chaucevere a detailed account of everything. He doesn't seem to fully understand her, however. I don't understand. Lemarc, what the devil is all of this? I think she's trying to tell you that some idiot stole something from the Institute, and that thing might explode at any moment. If it explodes near Lumidos Harbor, it will kill all the fish there and render it impassable to ships. So they are here to get the idiots. That's what you were trying to say, right? Uh, your summary is correct. I guess there is someone here with brain cells to rub together after all. I see, so you're here to do good then. And here I was thinking that the blessed Lolia had sent you to silence me. Mm, I misunderstood you, it's my mistake, so drinks are on me next time. Silence you, weren't you discussing a business deal? A deal? Looks like this misunderstanding is mutual. I will never do business with trash like Lolia. He's always with the Chesnayans. And all he cares about is transporting Fontaine's goods to the outside for his own benefit. He's just as bad as they get. Some time ago, he came asking for my help in smuggling a person out of Fontaine on the down low. To smuggle someone out? Could it be? Yes, it could be Necker, the one we're looking for. What happened next, Mr. Chelsevert? Um, he looked to be up to no good, so I turned him down. It, is it just Paimon, or do you seem a bit disappointed, Miss Fusilia? Uh, what? I'm not. How could I possibly hope that someone might commit a crime? No way. Today he came uh, all the way to threaten me, telling me to leak out any information regarding this incident, or else his boss, Concini, would personally come to teach me a lesson. I was just about to teach him a lesson when Lamarck noticed we was dropping. 
and the guy sees the chance in flight. I guess I'll just have to wait until he until the next time he and I meet. Mm, so this lawyer's boss is called Consini. Uh, Paimon's never heard of him. Could he be a Fatus? Never mind, Paimon's just joking. There's no way that everyone from Chesnaya who we've met is a Fatus. It is. No, only Child's brother. Everybody else we met from Chesnaya is a Fatui. Wow. I used to think that way too, but I I really don't know what's going on with Conchini guy from Chesnai. Ah oh, no 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 there's I think I think there's a couple of merchants we've met. Um uh, I don't know what's going on with that Conchini guy from Chesnai. All I know is that he's a major buyer and he's been purchasing all kinds of goods and equipment and sending them to the harbor. I have no idea what kind of business he's involved in. That said, since he's associated with the likes of Lawyer, he's definitely no better. But this is not a place to talk, let's head back to the ship first. Uh, uh, right, you come with me. You're looking for the core thing or whatever, right? I'll help you with it. Uh, what a surprise, and I thought there was going to be a twist. You, you're not planning to kill us on board and dump our bodies in the sea, are you? The entire limit of those harbor is under my protection. Anyone causing trouble around here is my business. If what you said it's true, then I'm doing the right thing. If not, at least limit those harbor will avoid disaster. Don't you understand that at the very least you have a point? Enough to chat. Uh, you want to talk? Get on the ship and talk. Mm. We were just there. Why did you came all the way down here? Could have just dropped somebody up there. Oh, damn, I should have used Karina. <sighs> well, do you own the entire ship? Of course it's mine. Now, let's get on with business. That thing may go up at any second, right? There's not a moment to lose. Um, but we don't have anything else to go on. Based on what we know so far, you run the largest underground trading operation in Lebedos Harbor and often deals in items related to the Institute. During investigations at the harbor, our investigators found trace amounts of arc and energy reactions on some goods. We believe that Necker may have come through here with the core. That's why we came to you, following the trade lead, but we didn't expect to find out that you're not even involved in this kind of business. Your mindset regarding trace is surprisingly narrow. Uninvolved. Um, the grey market is not the same as the black market. I'm not a parasite like Lolier. Hey, you just said you're in a grey market. Uh, get off your high horse. If you only, only came to see me sooner, I have captured that Lolier guy. He said he's gonna teach me a lesson. Then I can't wait to see. You shouldn't give us a chance. You should have given us a chance to explain at least. You should have come out and given all of you a beat down. Yeah, explain. You're the one who charged at us without a word. We wanted to explain, but you didn't give us a chance to. Nah, I said to sentence. What do you mean by without a word? Lolier, Consini, I'll report their names to the insult, but now. But well, sorry to intrude, but didn't Lolier say something like there's no use for you now earlier? Uh, that he did. That scoundrel even said that it's a shame how I miss out on a load of cash. I should have punched him in the face right there. Could that mean that he's already found someone to do his dirty work? You mean someone has taken the job? Yes, and that someone may have been paid already. 
So if we can find out who just came across a sudden windfall. As far as I know, Lolia prefers to hire poor and lazy slugs who sit around daydreaming. Because people like that are the easiest to deceive and control, right? Well, seems like you've seen your fair share. Perhaps there are also people like that in the Institute. Mr. Edwin once said that if you live your life seriously, you'll find that people like that are all around you. Right, so no more naps, whatever you want from now on, Paimon. It's okay, Paimon, not rich, but we're not exactly broke either. No worry, Paimon, we're no lazy slugs. No naps for Paimon. You don't have to stress that. No worry, I know who to see first. Boss, do you remember Kovalt? Uh, sure, I remember him. He used to be the most famous drunk card working under me, but I keep him out uh, for out of the outfit because of his habit of nicking this and that. Well, he's not regular. The rest of the world, Peter saying that he's basically there all day, buying up most of the wine. I think we should go and have a conversation with him. Wait, but we don't have any proof. Proof? If call out you need some, I'll find him some. But before that, he has to have an honest conversation with me. Uh, Helm plot a curse to Rusty brother. It shows over the helm, the ship quickly arrives near the rest of the rudder. Mm, uh, a person who choke me on this alcoholic rig. There are so many drunks in here. Can we really find this cobalt guy? Though most people go home when they are they've had too much to drink. Maybe he went to take a breather outside and they go home. With his financial state and moral standards, home is a luxury he can afford. He has nowhere else to be except in the tavern. Just to be on the safe side, let's stay together. The people in this watering hole aren't the friendliest. Uh, especially you, institute lady, don't stray too far from me. These drunkards might try to rob you, given how fragile you seem. Then they will have the privilege of witnessing the power of our proud creations. Mr. Edwin instru instructed me on how to modify this mecha. The energy beam it emits can easily incapacitate a person. Which mecha? I might have try our luck over there. Alright, let's go. I'll take the lead. Lemark, you watch our flanks. Where should we start? Why not as the boss of the tavern first? Brought Chalcivert and the other said the boss name is Pitot. It's the guy up there. Is there anybody different around? Mm -mm. Ah, the Melusin is here. But I think they're here because I completed their quest, not related to this one. Um, I feel like I got a little stronger recently. Let's go diving for treasure again when things are less busy at the harbor. Alright, if you are chased by any ball octopuses again, I'll take the responsibility and bring a revival back. Can't you have a little faith in me? Why is it assumed from the get-go that I'm going to lose? Well, I don't remember the exact score, but I know you have lost to the ball octopuses more than a few times before. Not exactly a track record that fills you with confidence. Then we should still have hope, no matter what. What doesn't kill you only makes you stronger, right? You are right, as long as we persevere, there will always be a chance of success. I don't remember this guy here. Ah, oh. oh, okay, maybe there's some drunkards. Extra drunkards here today. Pito. Uh, welcome to Rush Runner, choose anything you want. Oh. Are those about two different quests? Uh, have you seen a guy called Kovalt? Sure, he just brought another round up for everyone before storming out the door. Uh, I wonder where he got all that money. 
Uh, okay, I'll talk to him afterwards if that doesn't. Uh, I'm gonna be rich. Uh, how dare you belittle me? That's him. There's no no one else in Lumidos Harbor with a red face like that. Doesn't he look like everybody else? Kovalt, get up. Who are you? I'm in the money now. Don't don't you dare shout at me. Oh sure. So where did you get it? Details if please. You chose it. Uh you it's all because I worked for you that I miss out on making big money. Oh it's a fight? Yeah, uh, just very lucky we teach a lesson. I would say this, pretending all of us got a fortune. None of us are clean, you're the only one riding high horse. Shut your mouth, I want a party of dirty money. Chosevert, please forgive me, big man. Forgive you? Well, that depends on your behavior. Lamarck, tie him up and take him back to the ship. Can you just do that? To... He doesn't work for you anymore. And if he did, I don't think that's right. Restrained by Chosevert, Kovalt is hauled back to the ship. Uh, sober yet, Kovalt? Can you speak properly now? Boss Chosevert, I... Please forgive me. That was the alcohol talking. Alcohol steals the soul. You want some more to help you relax? Uh, you're right, right. Whatever you say. I ask you a question, you give me an answer. Anything more or less, I knock your teeth out. Clear? Yes, yes. Crystal clear. First question. Were you hired by lawyer? I... On the count of three... Yes, yes. He hired me to escort someone to a certain location in Lumidos Harbor. I don't know who the person is. I just escorted him to the designated location. Took the money and got out of there. Second question. This person you were escorting, was he carrying something? Uh, he had a large backpack on his back and nobody was allowed to look at it. But it was very strange. It was warm and it kept on buzzing. Could that be? Uh, is the self-heating effects generated by bound Archeon? Mr. Edwin's talked about it before. The backpack must contain the Archeon kinetic core. And the person must be Necker. Guess we've got our man. It, if only we, we could just blow it up. Uh, haven't had enough of that lately already. Third question. Where did you escort him to? Give me the location. Uh, boss, could you give me a map? Uh, it's too remote a location to give that precisely. Sure, I'll get you a map. Don't try anything or else. I wouldn't dare. Hmm. Kovalt nervously marks the location on the map. Boss, there you go. That's the place. I assume that there won't be an ambush waiting for me. Or have you hired somebody to take me out? Oh, never, boss. Uh, you know I won't lie. Fine. Then, when we get there, you take point. Chart a course. That's where we'll be heading. Chosver takes the helm and you rush to the pickup point that Kovalt mentioned. Uh, Mouser closed and you head further in. Uh, where are we? That's not far. Either way, you is too close to me. Well, there were three lines in like two seconds to read it all. in there 
Are there yet? Cobalt? Don't dare pull a fast one on me. No way, boss, you know me. I'm an honest guy. there wait now that we've gone far enough what does your device say little miss institute no reaction at all there is no residual arc in energy here strange i've already tuned its sensitivity up to the max and arc energy flow doesn't dissipate that easily this prototype was made by mr edwin himself there's no way it doesn't work mm, how come they and those mecha behind them I knew it. Uh, Patting, how much did Lolier promise you? An amount I've never earned slaving under you in a lifetime. It's nothing personal, Chalcivert. But I have mouths to feed. Uh, don't you feel... Don't you feel dirty getting mixed up with the legs of Lolier? Taking his money like that? Uh, boss, we are... We all row in the same mud puddle. Money we earn, it's never clean. You're the only one riding your high horse, saying this business is no good, the business harms people, like you're some kind of saint. In the end, you earn no money and win no people. Uh, only a fool like Lamarck would stay loyal to you. We've sailed together for a long time. I'm sure Morgan will make his death painless. No, oh no, Mr. Lamarck is still on the ship. Don't worry, he has the Neomosia Ray self-defense device. Which was personally modified by Mr. Edwin himself. He'll be fine. You only just came up with that name, didn't you? You really are confident in that device of yours. Not the name. Oh, come on, Cobalt. Hurry up and take care of them. Lolier's money is waiting for us to claim it. Stop telling me what to do. You, go on. Get them. Okay, so we beat them up. And just whatever. Strike a pose. Let the world come alive. <laughs> the cobalt is less work in first run. Shut your mouth. Let's get to the front. Oh, let's her back to ship. The marks should be dealing with Morgan. I'll do it later. Slowly. <laughs> this seems fine. Mm, this device sure is handy. Oh, looks like Lamar just took care of that guy all by himself. Boss, your back looks like you were ambushed too. That means Lolia has bought both Patting and Morgan off. Cobalt has to lead us. Was to lead us into an ambush. Sadly, they didn't expect me to be there. Just a monthly crew. Wait a second. If they were bought off by Lolia, then what about when you were talking to him? Um, that can only mean that he had the meeting so he could eliminate me. Um, brutal, but that sounds like him, alright? Then I suppose it's a good thing that. You lot came out of the blue to mess with their plans. Otherwise, given the narrow space, we might not have made it out alive. Still, they attacked us twice in a row now. Could they have something to hide? Uh, those behind the scenes, just what are they worried that we might discover? Trans the transported necker. Cobalt has been hired by Lolier to take Necker and your Archon carries to some place inside Lamidos Harbor. Not a business person. Lamidos Harbor is an international port, so if the goods are being transported inland, this doesn't seem to be about cross border business. Yeah, isn't the other harbor larger? You it has the aqua buzz and all. It would make more sense for that to be the main 
international port. Uh, Shall Silvert claims to cast shadow over the whole harbor, so he is clearly someone of extraordinary capability. It seems that even Lolier cannot compare. Uh, it looks like Lolier's employer is Consini, who is from Chesnaya. Major by Francesnaya. Consini is shipping large quantities of household goods and materials inland from Lumidos Harbor. Difficult work. Considering how many people have been hired to help, the job Consini wants done must be quite tough. I don't know if associated with that. No. Doing that. No. I can build those. Uh, Consini goals. Consini isn't shipping those goods inland to sell them, but give them to Necker for his use or for research. Uh, no. Let's just go evolve. Necker and Consini. It's clear that Consini and Necker are working together and that the former has delivered the letter to a location somewhere inland from Lumidos Harbor. Stealing business. Lolier must be worried that he will lose his job if Consini realizes that Chelsea is more capable. Hence the attack. Potential where the worry we might discover. So those three are all in league with each other. The Consini guy is like the owner of a restaurant, getting Lolier to find a chef to cook for Necker. I told Lolier to beat it, so he went and found someone else to do work for him, and then he wanted to silence me. Feels like someone who messed up trying to cover their own mistake. I see. Well, this certainly does sound like the right amount of trashy for Lolier. You may be little, but you're quite brainy, you know? Hey, you can keep the first part of the sentence to yourself. Anyway, now we're sure the Necker is in Lumidos Harbor, and we've narrowed down the search area by quite a bit. But things are never that simple, are they? Uh, boss, we better integrate them to see if they have any useful information. Good idea. Betting, you know the rules, yes? I'm your disposal, Mr. Schultzberg. Good. At least you accept the consequences of your own actions. Lemark, Tahim, and Morgan up real good. Go to your cabins and rest, and remember to put on some earplugs. Let's just say that this won't be a silent night. After some contemplation, you decide to sit down and rest. In the middle of the night, you are awakened by strange muffled noises and the sound of something heavy falling into the water outside of your cabin. Did something or someone fall into the water? Should you go help? Wait, Shalsevert warn you that this will not be a silent night. This is the institute, this fontaine, this is supposed to be a place of laws, shouldn't we have the police with us or something? Uh, you walk to the door and grab the handle, the commotion outside has quieted down by now, and only the muffled sound of waves hesitantly lapping against the hole remains as you stand hesitantly before the door. What awaits outside? A question? An answer? Regardless, with just a twist of your wrist, you can verify. Cert certain thoughts of yours, can't you? You hesitate, despite already having the answer, you still want to ask for Fusilia's opinion. You turn around and see how Fusilia is trying to cover her ears, pretending to be fast asleep. In the end, you surprise your, your impimous curiosity and decide not to investigate. You just hope that this night will pass quickly. I hope you are well rested. Patty and Morgan have told us everything. 
Why did I have to figure things out if you were going to torture them and get information anyway? Uh, how... they were all bent on killing us not so long ago. Well, that you don't need to know, little Miss Institute, Lamarck, tell them. Hi, hi. To put it simply, with their cooperation, we have learned that two shipments will be delivered to a certain location today. Unfortunately, those two don't know the precise location. All they know is the time when the shipments will arrive at the shore. It's not such a long place. We could just look, see ships coming. So, more guesswork on our part. Never mind, you see how it goes. More guesswork. I have an idea. We may be able to find some clues using this energy flow detector. If that place is indeed where Necker is hiding, then people going in and out will carry traces of Arcan energy. Oh, that means that all we have to do is use this device and beep beep beep. We'll know exactly where to go. What do you mean beep beep beep? Only those obsolete relics do that. I'm using the latest silent model. Beeping or not, this is a good shot. Uh, no time to waste, let's move. About those two. They're going back to where all sailors come from. No need to worry about them. Anchors await. Chaucer takes the helm again and you rush to the pick up point. We're almost there, it seems like the shipment has or hasn't arrived yet. Let's wait here for a bit, keep your ears sharp, they might show up any second. Everyone finds a place to hide and waits for the couriers to arrive. And our ship is it hidden. Look over there, are those the people we're waiting for? Must be, they seem to be hanging off the shipment, they'll definitely start transporting soon. Our waves dropping again, but this time we're dropping on the treasure hoarders. This is how the Insta does things. That's not true, uh, sorry. Let's follow him, but be careful, don't get caught again. What do you mean again? Okay, well, do we just restart if they see me? Almost there, I should be. Yeah, okay, just came back. Stopped. What are you? What are you doing here? You found me. You got a keen nose. No, we're far. We're, we'll leave you 
the thinking to you, Miss Lady Insu Insu Lady. Uh, you were the brains, you were the brawl after all. Uh, wait, what? Uh, what do you mean by that? Lamar Inus, uh, let's take them now. Someone snitch for you. Send you. Only sends his regards. The shipment has been delivered and you are outlived. Uh, let's say a bit of payment. The pain feature. Uh, Lord, bless him. He's already paid the bulk of the payment, but he can afford the rest. Chill, man. We're all underdogs here. Don't blame the messenger. Boss, <laughs> what should we do with him? Man, what should we do with him? Paimon, you handle him. Sure, just watch Paimon. Uh, how many strings of hair should she pull? No, wait, stop. Uh, how much slowly are pay paying you? I'll pay you the same amount. No, uh, how about this? Let me live and I'll let I'll take Lolier out and grab his money. And then we can split the cash. There's no need for any of that. Uh, I just have a few questions for it. Answer them to my satisfaction and you'll live. Or your hair will roll. He could just lead us to Lolier now. Roll. Lolier hire you to get the shipments here. That's it. Did he say who they're for? I don't know. All Lolia said it was to leave the shipments here, and that someone else will pick them up. Come pick them up. The previous two runs were exactly like that, just a different location. I once stayed behind to see who the buyer was, but they didn't show. Another group of people took the shipment and headed away. I dare not linger any longer, so I took off. So, are you satisfied? Good enough. Get out of here. You'd better stay away from Lolia. He's up to no good. But should I follow him? No need. Let him go and cause some trouble for Lolia. So, he said that someone would come pick the shipments up, huh? Installating, it's time for you to get a device of yours peeping. We need to move. Uh, didn't I say that this is the latest model and it doesn't beep? Choose the river point. Oh, I thought maybe we would use uh, that. Smell why they ha don't have to follow any elemental signs. Consistent, let's keep moving forward. Ah, now we get to the house. This is getting stronger, we are close. Look over there, it's mistaken, is that a house? Smoke's coming from the chimney, and uh, someone's living there. Stay sharp, uh, something else. Oh, it's here again. Second paper is messily to the wall over, it's possible to make other ones traditional card there, so you're sure has done in this terrible mood. There's something here about not knocking on the door, right? The readings are high, there are clear residual energy readings from all around this house. Necker, why would he go through all the trouble to build a house here? He must have strong nerves, or he took it from someone else. The lock of the door doesn't seem too sturdy. I think I can break it open. Stand back. Hey, don't just bash the door in. It might be someone's home, you know, that got it irradiated for some reason. If that's the case, we'll compensate them. It's your investigation, so the money should come out of the institute naturally. Huh? What are you doing in my house? Well, we show you up neck. That's not necker. Wait, you're not Necker? But you're wearing the Institute's uniform. Uh, you're here to deliver the supplies, aren't you? Just leave the things at the back of the house. Can't you read the note on the door? You are... Mr. Edwin? Oh! Oh! How do you know me? Did Lollier lick my name? Edwin Easting House. 
I expect to be quite an old man. No matter just... Shouldn't he know her? No matter just hurry and get me the supplies. The suppressor will be ready soon. Huh? Why are you staring at me? Pebble must be saying things from flying too fast. Well, well, well. Edwin Eastinghouse. Come back to life, I see. Oh no, the institute's gonna get blown up again. Dead. Aren't you supposed to have died in the explosion at the institute? What are you talking about? Stop wasting my time. I'm in a hurry to complete my research. I'm Fusilier from Section 3. You were my research advisor and you helped me modify the Nomosia Ray self defense device. What Section 3? What ray? Oh, now I remember. I'm talking about the highly inefficient radiation device, aren't you? Uh, what was the research name again? I can't remember. Whatever the case, the device was a solo project, no real practical value. Wait, it must be the... What? You must be the honorary senior researcher, Inus. Your reputation precedes you. How do you... You know me, looks like you didn't quite get blown away far enough. No, uh, continue tell me about what you've done and the title you've earned. I have to say, the title is too well. Just look at you, all hard working and... Uh, but of course, I know full well why you're here, honor senior researcher. You must be here for the Archeokinetic Core, which the slipper fish Necker stole. I apologize, but despite his lack of creativity, pedestrian research skills and how he's been constantly messing up my facility, we're still in the same boat, so I cannot reveal his location to you. I hear you, sir. However, I found this map in the house that marks a certain area. Gosh, how did I find this map? But no matter, his precise location won't be that easy to find. You're welcome to go and look for him, but trust me, you, you can make five loops around the place and you wouldn't find him. That place took us five full years to build. Damn, how long ago was the institute blown up? I still remember that when the place was completed, I restarted five projects and rebuilt five devices. If I were still in the institute, my salary would have quintupled. So what's happening now? He's monologuing. Uh, something must have triggered his inner institute scientist. Uh, Mark, stay here and keep an eye on this guy. Miss Institute, I mean, Miss Fusilier, this will be a dangerous trip, so why don't you give me the device? I'll handle things going forward. No, let's get moving. I, I want to leave. Well, she seems pretty upset. What happened? I thought she worshipped Edwin. Let's catch up. Edwin didn't even notice her. Good luck, you will never find him. Five rounds, you hear? But you know the precise location. Why can't we torture you? I bet you would break easier. Uh, if you keep keep this up for five more seconds, I'm gonna punch you five times. Where are you? You're back again. Told you, you can try five times and still won't find him. Uh, it's not working out for you, so why don't you just sit down and have some tea? I just bought five cups and a few bowls. You really like number five, don't you, Mr. Edwin? Yes, this is a magical number. Use it right and you can unlock the doors to endless inspiration. Listen up, there are five doors to endless inspiration, and you have to turn each handle five times. Five, you hear? Five times. Sorry, but I'm really trying to stop myself from punching you five times. Would you please kindly shut a trap? Uh, where to? Work harder, the energy flow continues forward. Oh, come on. 
and for four enemy be in the water. Since three enemy, we were the team assisting the most. No matter, there's still a few deaths to Zedrin's house. I uh, haven't you take one with me. What a coincidence. Hmm, would that be a uh, domain? The door is locked. Wanna pay with Commander's way? Now we need to start solving riddles. It is just time to be in the right place, right time. Is yes, strangely, uh, feels like Edwin is trying to push it into getting the trouble. Let's consider what other things has he said or done. He said five times. Uh, where can I get some... Octopus. Where? I got stuck there now. Oh. Our nameplate on the door. Whatever was engraved in the nameplate has been worn away and is unclear. So, what's the point of having a nameplate here? Doesn't go back more. <laughs> it worked? What? Well, I thought I had to activate five places, but i not sure I did. So that's why he kept on repeating the number 5. He was given and scenes about how to solve the riddle. Uh, why didn't he just tell us straight? Why beat around the bush? Mm, who knows what's going on in that head of his, but he seemed to have been trying to lead us to ne Necker. Dive suits were just left by the house, almost like they were pre prepared for us. Looks like he found us first. Anyway, let's take care of Necker first. He found us first. No research value, but I I spent so much time. Fusilia has been murmuring to herself the whole time. Uh, and I got a feeling they were being watched. Pamu feels chills running down her spine. I'll take the lead and look inside. from here
Uh, I need to chop that up. Oh. A huge empty space with nothing inside. Did we come up empty handed? The planes have been intentionally cleared and the training seems relatively recent. All the trouble I went through for him. Anyway, I'll go down alone and take a look. Uh, you stay with Miss Institute Lady. If things get out of hand, uh, take her and go. Mm, but there's nothing here. How could things get out of hand? Squeak, beep, beep, what? Oh, look out, something's coming. Oh, just that? I will oh. have order. Your... Strike a A moment, please. Very serious. Such, it's a pleasure to see you during errands for the Easterns. Thanks for getting rid of the task you just reported for me earlier. I own a for that. Now I have no further use for you. Hard hitting exclusive! We'll stay here and get home to test a few of us on the Let's begin. Gather! Order guide! Scoundrel is right up there. Get him. I was there. Then uh, get out. Let's step. One less step. And uh, liar. Wretch. Fraud. The most. Oh, good. So I'm gonna actually do that. They're the most annoying person in the instance. Stay cool. Face your guilt. Insta dogs. How much did Chaucer and Raimondo pay you? Just a little. Not one more I volunteered. Yeah. Oh, listen to me. Let me go. My fuel generator is almost done. Once I successfully synchronize it with the Archeon Kinetic Core, then there will be the greatest next engineer ever. And you'll still be an outlaw and won't be able to go back to Fontaine. Taking credit for someone else's work and claiming to be the greatest engineer, shame on you. Now I finally know why Mr. Ed... Edwin never wanted you to take part in the core research project. Edwin doesn't know a thing about what to do with it. You are also from the Institute. You know the true value of this thing. Help me, I can develop it with you. Then we'll both be famous and incomparable. Edwin, Raimondo, Choiso, not none of them can surpass our fame. Looks like, like what Raimondo said was true. Uh, it must have been tough for you, Necker, to hold all that in, s in for such a long time. Edwin, Mr. Edwin's achievements belong to the Institute. I'm only there to claim them. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. Miss Fuzilia suddenly changed how she addresses Edwin. Don't be a fool, girl. You don't know what Consigny can give us. We'll never get such benefits if we, if we run errands for Edwin for a million years. Edwin and the Institute only wanted to use us. We had to think for ourselves. I had enough of this nonsense. Shut up. And who the heck are you? The one who watches over Lumidos Harbor. And one more word and you'll taste my fist. And you know, help me tie him up and take that car or whatever. It's time we head back. No one chest here. Uh, and still we can't interact with that. <coughs> Come on.
and doing I knew it. You lured them over, you've always been jealous of me, afraid of my research would surpass yours. You're right, I'm so jealous of how totally oblivious and ignorant you are. No wonder you led such a blissful life back in, at the institute. Only if Choso was here to see this, he'd faint. He better never wake up. Uh, I'm about to faint too. No. Uh, you go back to the institute with them and repaint. I need to get back to my research. You didn't break anything, did you? You said you can go back to research. So right there, I'm worried. What are you gonna do? Take me back to the institute? How am I supposed to continue my research then? Uh, that fool Raimondo would definitely turn the institute into a mess. And that idiot Choso, uh, the mere thought of it gives me a headache. You're the one who turned the institute into a mess. Stop shifting the blame to someone else. Me? Fine. You want to blame me for the explosion at the central laboratory, right? But you know what? I wasn't even there. The institute is full of fools. Even someone knocking over a cup of coffee can trigger an equipment malfunction. So I'm not surprised they managed to cause an explosion. Then why didn't you try to explain that to them? Explain? I'm not gonna be their scapegoat. Goat. I have to. I have a lot of research on my hands, and my time cannot be wasted on them. And so you decided to get mixed up with the likes of Consigny. Oh, he's no better. He couldn't even get his hands on a piece of precision equipment. I had to do all the work. At least he's willing to fund the research, so everything went smoothly. But I didn't expect our dear Necker to come, up, come here with, all, with an incomplete core prototype. I modified it. With my tech you can never develop it. Uh, Mr. Necker, Consigny is not here for you to suck up to, so why don't you stop lying to yourself? Don't you have an ounce of dignity as a researcher? You, it's incomplete only because you don't know how to complete it. But I know how and I can do it. Right, now just take this piece of junk back to the institute and keep leeching off it. Uh, I have something more important that requires my attention. You fools is something, I'll leave this to you. You do see why we stop arguing? Enough. What? Can you stop wasting my time? I need to get back to work. I said enough. Edwin Isinghaus, you, you are the one who blew the institute up. You just said he wasn't there. And you, Necker, you stole the institute's assets. And blew the institute up a second time. Both of you harmed the interests of the Institute, as the Special Investigator of the Fountain Research Institute, I'm taking both of you back to the Institute where you shall be dealt with accordingly. Darn. Oh, please. The Mark and I will support those two back. Say we've been there in the boys for a long time, so the Institute will definitely compensate us, right? Remember, keep your mouth shut along the way, or you might meet an early end. Uh, please deliver the door, don't knock, uh, leave, me or leave messages or ask for signature. I'm sick of signatures. Well, I guess I can unmark that now. And unmark that. Miss Fusilier, Innes is back. You must have handled things. Oh no. Well, Mr. Shoso, he's really about to faint. I didn't think you'd be back at the Institute, Shoso. I figured you'd be stuck dealing with paperwork forever. This, this is impossible. Goodness gracious. Raimondo, how does it feel taking over my job? Anything worth reporting? What a wonderful reunion, Mr. Edwin. Now look at you. Really does. It does seem suited for janitorial work. Uh, he didn't even clean up it properly. Uh, mainly because he didn't clean up you up. Thank you for bringing those two back, honorary senior researcher Enos, Miss Uzilia. 
Hopefully, this marks the end of the Fontaine Research Institute series of unfortunate events and turmoil. Uh, great, the Fontaine Research Institute now fall into deathly stillness where all inspirations will enter and die. You certainly have already sparked much inspiration around the Institute. It's time to calm things down. Raimondo Havis Port, you know nothing about research. You are not fit to lead the Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy and Engineering. But I know how to keep it up and running properly, Edwin Isinghaus. What you need to do right now is to stay away from research in Archeo. It's better for all of us. Sometime later, the Mason Gardener's person arrives and takes both Necker and Edwin. It is for the best that they finally leave the Institute for good. Can we find them at the fortress later? But I'm not gonna walk around aimlessly to I find. No, no. Thank goodness, my nightmare has finally ended. Mr. Schossvers, Mr. Lamarck, yes, I've heard about the assistance you rendered to our institute. institute. Please take a well-deserved rest here while your compensation is being arranged. Uh, I didn't think someone like me would ever be associated with the institute. Don't say that about yourself, dear sir. You are sincere and kind-hearted, so you are definitely a good person. Maybe we will enlist your help in the future. As for you, under a senior researcher, uh, you did us a great favor once again. How should we ever repay you? Just don't get blown up again. What about a promotion? Well, theoretically, your current title already resides at the top. But let me see what I can do. Uh, how about something like Chief Honorary Senior Researcher? By the way, where is Miss Fusilia? We should give her some room to calm down. Looks like the image of Edwin Eastinghouse she had created in her head has completely shattered. Edwin and Necker need to calm down as well. I hope they can reflect on their own mistakes. Could they stay in the Fortress of Merapis all their life? Judging by how dangerous they are, I hope they never leave the place. However, given the state of things here at the Fontaine Research Institute, I can only hope I don't run into situations that will require their expertise. I thank you again on behalf of the Fontaine Research Institute, honorary senior researcher. If you have any further questions, I'm at your service. Any questions on uh, what happened to Necker and Edwin? They will temporarily set for Chosen Merapid, but they will repent for their misconduct. That said, the Edwin I know doesn't do repaint. No matter, as long as Edwin is kept away from research equipment in Archeon. As for Necker, I don't believe he'll cause more trouble for us. I can only hope I don't run into situations that will require their expertise. Uh, dear Fusilia used to worship Edwin. Edwin Eastinghouse is a genius. People in the same field either gave up on themselves or became his followers. This Fusilia was a very passionate and creative researcher, often achieving great results with minimal resources. After joining the Tech Sect 3 of the Archeon Research Project, she was put in charge of the structural design of the suppressor. They had frequent, frequent run-ins with Edwin. Maybe that's when she started idolizing Edwin. Just like the other followers, Edwin's approval became her only pursuit. After the explosion, she refused to believe that Edwin was the one who caused it. So she applied to join the investigation in an attempt to clear Edwin's name. Now that you've dealt with Edwin, what do you make of him? A freak of nature who cares only for his research. He always tries to push the blame to others and he can't even remember Miss Fusilia's name. That sounds like him, alright? Other than his research, there's rarely anything that's worth a second of his attention. And he cares for nothing else as long as his research works smoothly. Not even when his own subordinates stole the Institute's assets to sell. I only approved Fusilia's application to join the investigation so she would come to realize she was chasing an image of him she fabricated. Now that image has finally been shattered, I can only hope she picks herself up soon. The Fountain Research Institute cannot afford to lose more of its people. Okay, and you? It's okay, it's okay, the is over. 
How do you feel about Edwin's coming back to life? Well, will you scare me? How I feel? Nothing, to be honest. I only hope that irresponsible scoundrel pays for what he's done. Personally, I tie his hands and legs and blindfold him to stop him from getting his hands in arc on arc if I could. No, I spoke to you. Bye. Sure so. Uh, do you feel relieved now? A bit more relieved, yes, compared to before. But to be honest, locking Neck and Edwin up together? Gosh, I can't even imagine what those two would be up to. Explosion would be. Uh, explosion has been passed and done, so what's next? Flooding the entire fountain with Fonta? Can you imagine? Uh, but then. Ah, yeah, you guys. Lamarck? No value, my research has uh, no value. Miss, please don't think this way. Uh, your invention saved my life. Uh, Mr. Edwin, uh, Edwin said the, this thing is worthless. What is your invention? We didn't see it. That just means that, that Edwin is blind. This thing is a treasure. Worthless. Huh. I give an army to have one for each of my men. Edwin is a bad person, he's full of ballooning. Mr. Edwin is not a bad person, he, he... Anyway, he can't even remember my name. Edwin showed him my design so many times. Miss Fuzilia, you are very talented, why do you let that Edwin guy judge your worth? He doesn't see what I see in you. Really? Of course, take it from all of us. But you don't know research. Miss Cecilia, she's no longer coherent. Uh, I think we better leave her alone for a bit. Okay, Lamarck and I will be right here. Call us if need anything. Okay, I think there's nothing else to do here. Uh, they could be at the fortress, but I, I just take a look, look around the ground floor. But I don't think you'll be here right now. I think it'll probably take a couple of days for them to be processed and judged and you know, all before being sent here. Oh, uh, okay, that's just the speaker. Ah, no. So here you are. It's you? I've come to see the Patek loser, have you? Yeah. Are you enjoying your stay? Of course, here I don't have to ponder over complex technical issues or constantly be forced to recall each and every step of painfully precise operations. More importantly, I don't have to deal with those short-sighted arrogant fools. Based on those few facts alone, the force of Mirapid is vastly preferable to the Fontaine Research Institute. Oh, I noticed that Juriel fellow managed to build the winglet. He does seem to have some talent. Mr. Edwin's assistant has completely completed a significant undertaking while Edwin himself remains where he started, empty handed and frustrated. Oh, seriously, right, Edwin? You fool everyone at the central laboratory? Yes, and I have to thank you once again. Without your cooperation, which you gave freely, I will have never figured out how to discreetly send the reporter lady packing. Yeah, should we meet her somewhere? I don't really remember what she was uh, going to do. Still, I unders underestimated Raimondo's pers perspicacy. I never expected him to be able to uncover the truth, least of all in a situation like that. What did Consini promise you? I don't give a hoot about his promises, I just don't want the Institute to terminate the Archeon research project. Countless people put their hearts and souls into it, myself included. It's just a step away from fruition. If they pull the plug now, all of our magnificent research will have been for nothing. Raimondo, the fool, he is far too conservative. All he cares about is securing his own career. He couldn't care less about the state of the Institute. And you're just looking out for your own interests. 
This is my research too. Do you have any idea how much effort I put into helping create the Archeon Kinetic Core? Why can't I look out for my own interests like the rest of you? Am I supposed to meekly submit to Shoso's will and give up on Archeon? Just like that? Oh, just to focus on mind-numbling tedious contraptions like Mechafish, Fonta and the like, I'd rather die. Talking about this now is an exercise of utility anyway. I no longer have any ties to the Fontaine Research Institute. Archeon, uh, the Archeon Kinetic Core, the future of Fontaine Research Institute, whatever, let it all be. My research days are over. Okay, since I found you, now I want to find the other guy. Uh. Oh, hang on, maybe a quick look online, I can figure out where he is. I, think I, saw some Always at your I once considered keeping some pets in my office, but soon gave up on the idea. It's just not right to keep... <laughs> uh... Administrative area. Okay, so sh he should be around here. I probably passed by him and didn't notice. Back here, administrative area. He's interested in the in the boat, maybe. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if we're able to get there. It was close at the other times. Ah, it's open again. Oh. Oh, it isn't here anymore? Where did the lab take after the flood? I thought he would be here. <laughs> if this was open, and he was. Hmm. It said he is in the administrative area. That's it. Let's try to look around the second floor, but it should be the uh, dormitories.
Ah, here you are. Arkeon really has incredible research potential. I had to find a way to get in and take a look. What are you doing? You're not allowed to research Arkeon. Uh, why are you here? Don't you understand? That explosion before was just an accident. Arkeon still has plenty of potential as a subject of research. And such incidents are inevitable during research. You lose a few researchers, hire a few more. You destroy a lab, build another. As long as the supply of Arkham is guaranteed, I can get the research project up and running again. What are you looking at me like that for? Am I wrong? I know you saw the ship Jurio built, the winglet or whatever. Jurio, Jurio, a what energy source could he have used, if not Arkham? That ship alone proves the value of this stuff. Although, if you ask me, that tub of his was underpowered, there's room for improvement in his catalytic process. So, uh, yes, that's right. The tech I read developed should have been used. Uh, it was your search that caused this tragedy. Indeed, it was a tragedy. However, they sacrificed themselves for science, and I salute them. But I must insist that you stop trying to pin the explosion on me. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, I wasn't in the central laboratory at the time. I was out inspecting other departments. Some knucklehead must have spilled a cup of coffee or accidentally pulled the wrong lever. Who knows how those idiots screwed up. At any rate, they ruined my lab and the entire Archeon project. You're the project leader, don't try to evade responsibility. Uh, so you come out the way just to lecture me. I never asked to be the project leader. If the institute hadn't imposed a deadline on my research, I wouldn't have had to hire that gaggle of fools to assist me. If I had the time to personally oversee every project, the accident would never have happened. Forget it, I won't waste any more of my time explaining to you. When I get out of the fortress of Mirapid, I must get in through to the institute to restart the research. With the Fontaine Research Institute to take you back. If I were Raimondo, I wouldn't let Edwin Eastwing himself be idle and outside the Institute. Otherwise, hmm. Does he really want the Institute to turn into a font development factory? Well, now that, that Chosu has moved his office into the Institute, he might try to stop me from returning. I just want to conduct my own research in peace. Is that too much to ask? Uh, uh, what about Lollier and Consigny? Financial ba bakers for my research, that's all. They only cared about making more, they didn't understand the first thing about technology, and couldn't even handle simple tasks like procuring precision instruments. I've had enough, I was forced to assemble the instruments myself and rebuild the entire lab. They ended up being more interested in Necker's shoddy prototype, and they kicked me out of the lab. They asked me to work on peripheral suppressors instead. How absurd. What carrot did they dangle in front of you? Mora fame mentions the whole nine yards, but I'm not interested in that. Mora won't necessarily buy you any raw archeon, and fame won't attract top research assistants. Uh, as for the mentions, maybe I'd consider it if they were filled with precision instruments, but that clearly wouldn't be the case. I had no place to restart my research at the time, so I had to agree to rebuild the lab there. And now, thanks to Necker, I don't even have my lab anymore. Alright. Now... Uh, I think there's supposed to be a quest here. Oh, no, no, let's... Uh, 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 that's here. Yeah, that's the entrance of the cave. Mm, what was that that I could talk to the guy here about? But mysterious general chromatic crystals. 
What are those? Ah, oh, okay, okay, uh, I know where I got that. Uh, after the quest with the Melusins here at all. Uh, when I went back, uh, here, I guess. Yeah, we went through there, but I guess I went back through the tunnels here. The part where we fought the wolves and all, it was flooded now, there was a, a boss jellyfish there. Okay, no, you can just find this just anywhere. And pretty interesting collecting strange and interesting things. So, if you're willing to hand it over to me, I'll make sure to compensate you. Sure, it looks like a good specimen, but if you manage to come across any of these things again in the future, do me a favor and bring them to me. I'll compensate you like I did just now. Did I just sell to you? No, I... Oh, but then I can get as many as I want of those. Pay first, then take your drink. Uh, I was pretty sure there was a, a question I think. There wasn't. Yeah, returned. Let me see if it drops another one. Uh, no, no, it drops a regular one. So, where can I get more to sell it? I'm pretty sure there was a quest item. I didn't think I would just sell it. And I'm pretty sure I fought most everything I could. Oh, no, it's not here. Uh, it's here. Solidify! Passive. Uh -huh. Hmm, Paimon Inus. Oh, it's you, Passive. Nice to see you again. What are you doing around here? Passive working, passive tired, passive lie down. You don't say more things. Uh, you're working. Forest, foggy forest branch. A foggy forest branch. Very throw. What's a foggy forest branch? Foggy forest branch. Information. Willow collect. Miss handle. Spring sand. Foggy forest branch. Miss information. So it means information about the foggy forest path. Passive. 
plug for branch, very throw, very many places. Passive searching, passive tired, passive eat, passive lie down. Plug for branch, very not many, but boxes, very many. Ah, thank you, Paimon, thank you, Ines. Here. You found us a treasure chest again. Passive, box, treasure, flower, shiny, sweet, very many. Well, so there are other stuff too. You know, passive, you're real nice, but it'd be bad if we kept taking your stuff for free. Why don't we exchange things instead? Exchange? That's right, we're friends, and friends should exchange gifts in earnest with one another. So we're gonna help you find your foggy force branches, and exchange those for your stuff. What do you say? And we can get you some stuff to eat too. Right, we can do that. You're having a hard time by yourself, after all. Eat the Tauga, passive. You like the Tauga? The Tauga, the Tauga, the Tauga, the Tauga. Uh, does that mean you eat 5, to five meals or 5 to Taugas a day? Uh, wow, you might have Paimon beat for appetite. Well, what about the branches then? Can we find them by following the Foggy Forest path? Melusine. Foggy Forest branch, very troll, very many places, very Erinys. The branches are all over Erinys then. Smart Ignus, passive. Foggy path has flowers, branches also flowers. Branch, 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 branch number. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, oh. Paimon gets it now. Branches can be found in places with the same flowers as the foggy forest path. And there are six locations, right? Smart Paimon, passive. Uh, guess we're all clear now. Uh, make sure you rest up, passive. Just leave this to us. Paimon, it is a good thing. So slowly, slowly, passive. Hmm. Okay, there will be chests, and I cleared most of the map here already. Branches. No. Six. I have them all. Okay. Talking for a branch. A branch that glimmers with a jade green light. It seems to have some kind of mysterious connection with the foggy forest path. Upon close inspection, it appears as though something is flowing within the branch. What was that? Ah, okay. The quest. The event. Can I open? One man's stone ah, one of those. is another man's. You know, uh, I bought some Titanga. Titanga, 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 swap. Ah, I can sell for Titanga. Cool. Uh, uh, but does this restock or it's over after? I don't really need any of these. Let's get one of those. And I don't know, I'll check eventually see if it's back here. If it doesn't restock, I'll buy them all. If it does, then there's no point. We bought the branches, 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 passive. Six. What does it do? It's nice to you, so happy passive, but uh, what are we going to do it though? What are we going to use this for again? Five first branch, many, very many useful. The visitor, very many useful. So this is something that visitor needs. Passive, branch information. Ah, thank you, Paimo. Thank you, Inus. Treasure give. Hmm. Uh, there'll be more quests in the future, won't it? Who is that? No, just... Yeah, but those are just... scattered around. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, there is one more here. One more bottle that I didn't get. I thought I had completed it all.
expectations. Uh, uh. Burrow and his wife swore to travel around Fontaine and spend their entire lives on the road. They had a daughter, Penny, a lovely girl who loved swimming and fish. They left her with their best friend, Rose, to spare her disruption of ruthlessness. Uh, despite the lack of fixed abode, Burrow's life is full of joy. Adventures, surprises, and he hopes his child shall share the same happiness. Barrow also wishes the reader of this letter the happiness. Why not go and find the surprise he has hidden for you? I think the surprise is between the claws. So the riddle between the claws to get a surprise. Mm -hmm, okay. Claws around here. But now I think it'll be the last bottle. Claws. But it was more. Claw marks on the. Oh, that's not a claw. That's a paw. Oh, no, 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 no. Jump higher. If we're in a fall, uses her skill and falls from very high on top of the water, she'll die. Okay, I, I don't want to kill them. Huh, ah, this wasn't locked. We should have part of the convenient. treasure map found. Let's take another look at the treasure map. Maybe it's something else. Ideals, piece of paper formed by putting ah, they notes together. The strange drawing turns out to be a complete rainbow rose. Strange drawing. What can we see it? Uh, the young ones were by clothes and luck. No, that's just uh. H was the one uh, Rocky Edge Avildsen Atto Parker Barrow Autumn Renes Roche The phrase Ah, the back. Real names are no consequence. He runs the lane. Oh. Ah, okay. That's all of them together. Liam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, guess you nothing. Ah, okay. This. Maybe just okay. No, this is just one line. Those are two. So one here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's no new text there. Okay, but now that's complete.
If you ever see any stickers on my back, do me a favor and take them mm. off. Malazines like to play pranks sometimes. Okay, I can mark that. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop here. Because... Yeah, next thing I'm gonna do will be... If there isn't an event or something before. Next thing I'll do will be that. Complete that. Because I have no idea how long this will take. It can be quite long. And I'm not sure. Alright. And I'm off.